Today, I am going to build a self-landing rocket in scrap mechanic. This is similar to the SpaceX Starship vehicle that recently completed its second test flight. Basically, it will consist of a first stage booster and a second stage ship, with the booster coming in to vertically land and the ship coming in with a belly flop before relighting its engines and flipping back upright. In real life, Starship will have to do this to not burn up when entering the atmosphere, but I'm just going to be doing this because it looks cool. Alright, so we're going to start off with a base here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the thrusters pivot. It's called thrust vector control. You like gimbal the thrusters and they like steer the rocket that way. Alright, so what I've made here is a uh, gimbling system with the engines where they could go this way, they could go that way. They could go in all the ways that you could possibly desire. So now this is how it will steer and hopefully stabilize. Like a feedback loop of like sensors or something. But I, I wanted to put like a center engine, but it's not, it doesn't work. Like the pipes get in the way. So one, two, one, two. And then each engine will go right here. And then have a B if any. And then have these also be if any, but these are just engines. This one does this one. This one does this one, and over here. If any, if any, if any. That's above its range of like, it's doing like a circular pattern, which is cool. Cause then it'll be sensitive. And that's, that's overcorrecting again. All right, so I decided to get rid of the gimbling because there was a problem with how it balanced. And I don't think it matters too much as long as it's pre-programmed. I'm still gonna use the distance sensors for the, um, the ground detection and like the power of the throttle, but I'm just gonna steer with like turning off and on, uh, thrusters I'm gonna add landing legs of some kind here and what the what what's the problem here oh it's good now okay 20 uh, 15 oh That looks like a landing leg to me. That's cool. This start button will initiate a timer, and then after the timer goes off. That's not nearly enough thrust. This is not enough. It actually has to extend. Not include these either, but have them be part of this. What's tilting? Like so heavily. Okay, that, yeah, that's that's turning. That, that, that's turning a little bit. That's turning too much now. I don't know how, how to make like a healthy balance between this. Maybe stop doing this, and instead add these back to there, and then just increase the power. I feel like a timer would make more- I feel like a, like a clock would make this ten times easier. If it, would if it would just go like, like back and forth like that, and then have one of these be like that, then it just like flickers it.
Bro. Alright, now that the first stage is good, I'm gonna build the second one now. So it's gonna be a cardboard thing, and it's gonna be shot by a um, spud gun. Well, no, I could use separator blocks. What am I saying? Yeah, I'll just use separator blocks. Yeah, decoupler, that's what it's called. That's good then. I think. Put it right, one right there. One right there, um, so it's like that, the landing. I guess I'd make like smaller, but like the same legs. The, the logic immediately just decouples this, and then it starts up the um, timer clock sequence. these two, which will go back, and this is triggering that, and this is triggering that to, no, go, yeah, that's good, that's good, good landing, having little sensor bits stick out the sides. It can't even lift off, it's just not strong enough. All right, thrust, thank you. Um, too much now, it's thrusting too largely. I forgot it's going that way. And then it should hot stage or something. Hello? Okay, so I made the top of the rocket, finish the uh, overall structure of it. So let's see how it acts with the capsule here. I'm gonna have to fine tune a ton. We'll see how this works. That's decent, that's a nice turn actually. Oh yeah, look at that, the switch worked. Looks like a cool little rocket fin-like things. Okay, so that happens for too long. Yeah, gotta tune that, That it, it fires for too long. So this, this has to be for like maybe half of what it was. Cool. Yeah, but it, would, it, it just kind of tilts, and then it flips back up, right? That's pretty cool, but it has to, um, maybe, maybe also have, no, like 700, and then it's like, um, okay, so this is extending the landing legs, so I think you could just do that permanently. Oh wow, the legs are out, <laughs> too short. Hey, it landed upright. Oh my god. We landed. <laughs> However, the distance might affect it. Alright, there's the landing legs. When can you see the floor? Yeah. And that will not be enough to, uh... What are you doing? Why are you tilting that way? Why is, why is this so flawed? And that time it like flips completely over. How does that, how does it do that? How does it manage to do that? No. Much faster. This is extremely fast now. Oh my God. I forgot about the whole flipping situation. Oh my god, tell me what's different. What's different about this?